Hello friend, welcome back to Total Maintenance YouTube channel. I'm working on 2003 Toyota Tacoma. This one is a pre-runner. It's a two-wheel drive taco. And I did complete detail inspection, which went pretty good. It's in the good shape as you expected. These Tacoma keep lasting forever, do they not? We were just discussing it with two different people today. Let me see, that might be the customer calling back. Oh yeah, that's him. But the main reason why it came today was possible problem with the brakes. The customer stated that he is having high demand on the brakes because every day he drives through the very hilly area where he has to use the brakes a lot coming down of the long hills. So he said his truck after a while will start shaking. He didn't really say that it will be steering only. He was like, well, the whole thing kind of shakes. So that was the main focus and let's start on the rear. You probably are familiar with this 11 and a half inch drums. These are the big drums. It's also a version which is 10 inch. You are probably probably familiar with this 6 lock. It's pretty common. Then the rear brake shoe will be all nice 4 millimeters when you open it and clean it with the brake clean. But the front one towards to the front will suddenly on this area be only two millimeters and that's very normal. Let me show you and confirm it on the other side. Mm -hmm. So if you see this, don't panic that something's wrong. This is pretty common and anytime I do this inspection almost every single time I see that front on that lower part could start here four, but on the bottom here in this area will be approximately two millimeters. Why am I showing you the rear brakes when you will think, oh, it can be the problem can be on only in the front. When you go down the hill, you are using mostly the front brakes. Believe it or not, if there will be uneven wear on the back, mainly on the drums, which I will just show you you could have the whole truck shaking too. So that's why I went on the front, but also I waited to make any conclusion until I will see all four brakes, including the back. And, and this is on the passenger side. So there's perfectly even where, all right? There's no hot spots or anything like that. It's just dirty. I didn't use a brake clean on those yet. Let me show you the other one really quick. It's the totally same story. Now we will finally look at the front. And the title of video may be, might be a front or a brake disc blue spots, something like that. I will try to show it to you. It was hard for me to take pictures of it for the customer to send him pictures on the phone, but I hope you can see it. Do you see those hot spots? They are blue. They are completely perfectly visible to me as a blue hot spots on this rotor. And it's we are on the driver's side. Let's go look on the other side. Is this even better? Not sure how to put that camcorder, so what will be the best angle? Maybe here? I don't know. Let's go look on the other side. There is completely different. The pads are four to five millimeters, but look, there is kind of uneven wear on that inner diameter outside of the rotor it's nice, but not here. Something's happening also on that inner diameter surface of the rotor. Blue spots on that disc. What do you think it's causing that? 
And yes, you guessed it right, all of it is caused by the super high temperatures under prolonged braking and uneven wear of this brake rotor. And unfortunately, we don't know how that heat damage, how it went deep. Normally, I offer on the regular brake jobs, I offer to the customer replacing the brake pads with the ceramic brake pads and resurfacing these rotors. I wrote it on the paper for the customer. I gave him two options, but I'm sure many of you will say, hey, forget resurfacing it. The damage could be deep in the rotor. There can be cracks actually. There could be cracking we don't see right now. Just to resurfacing and giving it back will be a mistake. I'm sure many of you are telling me, no, 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 don't use your brake light over there. Replace those rotors. It needs to be replaced and installed with a high quality and heat resistant ceramic brake pads. So I gave two options to that customer, but I was trying to guide him obviously for the rotor replacement he actually said yeah 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 that's what i want i did this last year he said these brake pads are also ceramic but he didn't change the rotors so it lasted approximately one year and these rotors are basically done so we agreed i need to order for him pads and uh, rotors and they will be brand new in like one and a half hour. I'm still trying to show it to you. I'm trying to change the lighting or the angle. Do you maybe see it right now? These spots? I hope you can. It's not easy to film. And finally old and new next to each other. And I show you the rear brakes too because I wanted to show you the whole picture, to consider whole picture which or what could have caused the shaking, an unusual shaking of the truck when it's being driven for a long time down the hills, long hills, and it's braking excessively and getting really hot. So I hope you enjoy this video. And make sure you are subscribed. I have way more coming your way soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day, my friend.